Hi everybody, Ben here from Atlas Ordinary. I am doing my second attempt at a um, Oliver Mass or Massey um, painting. So it's an abstract painting using a palette knife and paintbrushes. So we are just going to get at it and see how it goes. I don't know if I need a little bit more. Oh, there we go. I've only done one of these and I liked it, so I thought I'm going to try a second one. So I'm using Liquidex Basics Mars Black, um, first of all. And this is just to give it something down at the base. So there is a little bit of scraping noise. So this is a um, 12 by 16 canvas and just attempting to do an artwork that I saw. I really like the style and <clears throat> ultimately just see how it goes. So I'm not aiming for perfection, I'm aiming for fun. That is my way of artwork. If it turns out great, that's the bonus. <clears throat> but the main part for me is having fun doing it. So I might actually, so now I'm using Liquitex Basics Cadmium Red Deep Hue. So I'm just gonna put a few drops. I might put another drop or two over this side. Maybe there. And maybe a little bit more here. And I'm going to clean off the palette knife again because I want this. See how it's bolder here and a bit more duller over here? Because the black kind of got mixed in with the palette knife. So. Awesome. So it's just a matter of adding the colors in kind of layers. Um, from what I've seen, it seems to work better when you go dark to light, but that's just what I've, what I've picked up. So I'm going to try and go half the canvas, um, the red tones and half the canvas, the purple tones. So now I'm using Doxazine Purple. So if you notice, I did most of the red up with just a couple going down.
and now same with this one I want to bring most of this purple down Okay, so what I'm doing this time is the first time I didn't wipe my palette knife nearly as much. This time I'm actually wiping the palette knife more to kind of keep the colors a bit more separated. So I'm going to use this Naphthol Red from Holcroft just to add a little bit of a different red element to it. I might, whoa. That wasn't planned, but, oh well. It's fluid art. We take it as it goes, don't we? should be okay. I'm sure I might do that streak down. There we go. So what you're just trying to do is you're just trying to base some layers over things. So I'm going to put this, um, this is quinacridone magenta, which I'm going to do more down the bottom end. So from when you do the the lower the bait, the lower the color, the more drops you put down. As it gets higher, you put less because that will be sitting on top. Paper towel's gotten too dirty, I need another one. So you're just trying to layer these and build up the color up higher and higher um, and spread out bits and pieces off to the side. So next one will go orange. This is cadmium orange in Holcroft, which Still got its little lid on. So we're going to do a couple of drops of this. So my goal is to try and not get rid of the black, but kind of drown the black out with the colours. So then when you do the paintbrush part, there's 
the black doesn't take over so much. And this is Brilliant Violet, which is thicker. There we go. So you will notice when you do things like this, each, each brand of paint is different and even each colour is really different. Then we've got yellow, which is cadmium yellow medium. And I'm actually going to put my drop on my palette knife. Being a yellow, it would kind of get hidden a lot if, I, if it blended too much. So we're just putting little bits down So I'm more trying to keep the warmer colours up high and the cooler colours down low. Making such a mess here. One more bit of yellow. Alrighty. I think I'm going to leave it as that, but first of all, I've got to clean off my little bottle here because I've got a bit of colour on the yellow. Now I can put my cap on if I. Ah, there it is. So at the moment it just looks like a bunch of colours kind of messy, but it will all start to work out soon. So also what I am doing now, I'm just going to get rid of these paper towels, this paint on them. I'm likely to drop it on the floor and get paint everywhere. So now what we want to do is we want to get the paintbrush and we want to spread the paint out kind of in a um, like a, a blending fashion. So I've got a couple of paintbrushes because I think I'm better off to do more the purple side in one and the lighter side in the other just because I don't want it to over mix the colours. So it's just virtually going... So try and pick a focal point for where you are bringing your paint into. So for me, I'm trying to get everything to come towards the middle here. So that there probably needs to be a little bit more on an angle. And I just realized one thing, I didn't put any white on it. I'm 
which is really what I probably should have had. I'm just going to do this side over here. So the advantage of having the white would have actually made parts of it lighter and brighter. So I'm going to put that brush down. I might just finish off this little bit right here. But now this brush is going down. And I'm going to get another brush to do the what I call the red side, even though it's other colours in there. So don't start where it's too dark. Kind of go where it's bright and cheery. Oh, still came out a bit dark. So you just need to pick up some of that colour and bring it out. Blend it in. So the white would have lightened a lot of this up. That's the only sting I probably... I still like it. And then if you wanted to, you can just kind of grab a little bit of color and just kind of spin it out a little bit. Just to give you that other colored effects, which I might do down here. I might kind of just grab a little bit of this purple and just kind of blend it out a little bit just to lighten up one section. Just kind of go on the angle that you've already got your paint going. <clears throat> if there's anything you feel like, just I wouldn't over touch up um, just because you can kind of mess it up. If you overwork an area, you can get a lot of muddying when I can see the different variations in the color across here. The bottom's more just um, purples, but I like it. It's quite cool. Um, let's grab a little bit of this here and spin that out. Yeah, this, this brush is a little bit dark. But let's get a new one and just grab a little bit of color. Cool. I'm quite happy with this. I do think the white that I forgot to put in would have actually just lightened it that little bit more. Um, but that's okay. And I have white paint here that I've just mixed with a little bit of water just to thin it up. I'm just dipping in a different brush. And this brush I've cut short. So it's a bit easier. And then just flicking. I don't really have a proper flicking brush. But you're just trying to flick.
So the advantages of adding the white is, um, one, it gives a bit more interest, and two, it actually does hide a little bit of imperfections. Even though they're just a splatter, you actually don't realise that it kind of draws your eye away from certain things and can kind of hide hide bits that of your blending that don't actually look as even as you would have liked. And you can use whatever colour for this that you like. There we go. That's good enough for me. Put that down. Wipe my finger because I've got that much paint on it. And there we go. There is my... <clears throat> so, I'm going to say Oliver Mass inspired, but it's actually my friend Kath um, who really inspired me because I saw hers and I loved hers which made me she told me who the artist was that she saw do it so then I went and looked for that artist on YouTube and yeah here we go so virtually palette knife paint brushes acrylic paint blending it I kind of did a two-tone awesome I love it I am going to get the camera and I'm going to bring you down for a close-up there we go really really please is that lighting that's probably more accurate colors there what i've got in the camera i love it i've always liked i've always, i've done abstract art for years but um i kind of stopped doing it for a while and art changed there wasn't pouring back then when i was doing my art i really should find some of my old pieces that i did when i was a lot younger and um yeah but i think this is pretty cool so you got texture and um like you can see where the paint's a little bit thicker so that will take longer to dry in those center bits and these outside bits they're already mostly dry in the blending you got the white splatters you kind of got like rays coming out but yeah really fun to do um actually easier than i thought i think you could easily mess it up if you do something wrong but that's the fun of art. It's not supposed to be perfect every time. And um, yeah, well, enjoy your night, everyone. Have fun, and I will see you soon for another pouring or for another painting. Okay, bye.